Hello, um, my name is Laura Sullivan. I work for UVM Extension. Um, today we are at the Border View Research Farm in Alberg, Vermont, um, and we are processing some winter redded hemp fiber into sliver. We're gonna go pick some of the fiber out back um, from the fields before it all gets reset for next season. We'll bring it back here. First, we'll crunch it up on the brake to separate the bass and the herd. Um, after that, it will be scutched with the scutching sword to just remove further debris. And lastly, it will be hackled on this fine bed of nails and combed um, before spinning. <laughs> So the first step of hand processing here is um, breaking. This is a flax break. It's probably like a hundred years old and I got it off Front Porch Forum. Um, it, was, it was living in a historical museum in New York and then I found it in Jeffersonville just like on the other hillside to me. Um, and this is the fiber that we just took from out back. It's, um, been winter redded so you can see some of the fibers already coming off and um, the brakes just gonna allow us to fully separate the bass which is this stringy outer like bark layer from the herd which is the woody middle part So now we have herd, which is basically ready to be used as mulch. Herd and bast are kind of like a byproduct of one another. Um, so there's a value added product right there on the floor. This is called a scutching sword or a scutching knife. And it's just like a hardwood um, sword. And it's, the purpose is just to further remove the remaining herd debris or any other debris that's attached to the fibers and kind of soften them too.
surprisingly, it's pretty effective because you can see now there's like no more herd attached to this. And that's something that basically <laughs> a mechanical device has like yet to perfect is just clean bass fiber. So all three, all three of these steps combined um, would be called like scutching together. Like if there was a mill for them, it'd be called a scutching mill. And this, um, this process is rounded out with hackling. Um, and hackling is just gonna comb the fibers and open them up a little bit um, and kind of orient them all of the same way. It's also a good way to um, separate them by length because um, as you're working and processing the fiber, they'll separate themselves out based on how long they are. Um, and uh, the wool equivalents, a wool, the wool fiber equivalent to the step would be like carding. Um, this is my hackle that I got at an antique store and um, it's also probably at least 100 years old. as much lignin as possible um, to kind of like reduce the hemp to like pure cellulose, like shorter fibers that look, but um, I'd also like to see the other infrastructure make its way back over here because we don't have wet spinning like in the entire Western hemisphere at the moment, which is just a huge loss of um, industry and manufacturing. Um, in our places, specifically like our rural areas. After all that, we went from stalks to long fiber. <laughs> 